Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair review. Today I'm taking a look at the San Diego Comic Con Super 7 Ultimate Godzilla King of Monsters Bloodthirsty Comic Version Godzilla. Man, that was a mouthful. As always, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are if you've picked this up, if you're on the fence, if you're holding off, because like a lot of us, you're kind of skeptical with it being Super 7. Let me know down below, and of course, stick around to the end of the video to see all the photos I took. Bless enough cheer chatter. Let's go ahead and get at her. All right, let's get started. So let's take a look here at his face. So they did a great job with the sculpt of like his snout and teeth. You've got the blood. It almost looks like a Joker grin with all that blood. You've got the yellow eyes with the red pupils. Those look fantastic there with all the detail. You've got the spikes on the head at the top. Going around the side here, you've got, I always wonder, does it look like fur? Because it's got this like texture. It's like wrinkly, so I assume it's just skin, but it kind of always looks like he's got like a little bit of fur, which is weird. You've got the little ears there, and then more of that same texture going down to the bottom part of the neck. Flip it around the other side here. I don't know if I get it. There we go. You can see even more, more of that texture, and then you see a lot more of that blood. Like it's just pouring down his mouth. You got the teeth grinning through. Got more blood there on his neck. Almost looks like some cuts as well. Really great job there. And then the texture kind of changes to more of like a bubbly pattern as you go down the chest. There you have his uh, three breasticles. I don't know. He's got the big creases in between them for the, the cleavage, I guess. I don't know. And then it goes up, back up to the arms. You've got more of that kind of wrinkled texture. Almost looks like fur going down his arms, forearm into his claws. You got those bright yellow claws which really pop against the green. And I will say this green looks really nice in person. Uh, I don't know how well it looks in on camera. And then we get back over here to the thighs. Because thick thighs, man, they save lives and he is stacked. My god, look look at how massive these thighs are. Like this god is usually chonky, but damn. So we've got that with a lot of great sculpt, and I will say this figure looks shiny on camera. It's not as shiny in person, and even the, oh, I really like also down here at the feet, like the toes, the claws at the toes are also yellow. Let me see if I can, he's kind of big and hard to maneuver, so sorry, it's going to take me a second here while I get him rearranged so you can see his feet a little better. There we go. So you can see the textures change as you get down to the toes. You get to those claws, and they've got like two, they got like a darker yellow at the beginning, and they go to a lighter yellow, which is really cool. And the bottom of the feet just have like the little trademark and hole and stuff like that. And then you have the spikes that go down the back. So we're gonna start here at the top of the head, where they're just itty bitty, and they kind of just poke up a little bit. As you go down the neck, they start to protrude a little bit more. And then you get to the shoulders and they just explode. And you've got these massive spiky fins coming out. They look a little veiny, a little wrinkly. You've got some great paint going from that dark green to that kind of lighter, like green, almost like a coral. Not coral, that's the wrong, I don't know what color I'm thinking of. Uh, sea foam, that's the one. And then you see like the spikes are also molded different, which is nice. So you don't have a bunch of the same thing over and over again. You have it in some cases, but it's it's not as often as you would expect for a figure. And when you get down to the tail here, it's all segmented to make it for the posability. And each ring has its own set of like spikes of different shapes and sizes and sculpts. And you get down and the tail starts getting shaded throughout it. But then you lose the shading and the spikes and the fins, which is a little disappointing. And you can make it all the way... At the very end, you've got like a kind of light wash on it for the tail. So yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed here. On to some articulation. So we've got a ball here at the top of the neck. It spins all the way around, bunch of tilt, and then we have a ball at the bottom neck section. Also does the spin with the tilt and the spin. And then head goes pretty far down. Not a lot of up though because of the spikes on the back of the neck. The shoulders go to about 90 degrees. And then the bicep swivel goes all the way around. Shoulder does go 360. And then you have single joint elbows like most Super 7 figures do. 
However, the sculpt gets in the way of the twist, so you can't do the full 90 if you want to twist it around still. And of course you have the hinge at the wrist. It goes forward and back, spins all the way around as well. Let me get his arms up here. Get these, I don't know why, there we go. So you do have this cut across the waist, it just twists. There's no rocker, there's no ball, nothing. It just twists around, which feels kind of dumb. You can see it part a little bit there. It, I don't know, I'm not very happy with that. You do have a little bit out, and then a little jiggle at the hip for the leg. You can come up, but it comes at an angle because of the way the uh, pelvis is cut. And then you do have a single joint knee with the twist as well. And then you do have the hinge at the feet, which you can pull forward and back a little bit. It's a little tight, though. And you can twist it side to side, but nothing too crazy. And then we get this leg. We'll even so it'll stand for what we're going to do next, because he has tons of articulation at the tail as well. So the tail, as you can see, is segmented into a bunch of different rings. So you can kind of twist it around. You can bend it. You can kind of shape it a little bit. It does have like a permanent, like right there. It doesn't go straight. It just comes out that curve and it does wiggle a bit at the butt. So there is tons of options for articulation. Next up, we've got some accessories. So you have his alternate head, which is much angrier. It's got him roaring with that blood all over his mouth. Got the angrier eyes kind of curled up around the snout. We've got all those teeth sculpted, the tongue in there, which is even brighter red than the blood. The blood dripping down his chin and down his neck, just like the other head. Got a better look there. It looks a little shinier than everything else, which is nice as well. And then you've got even some blood dripping from his nose onto his snout. And then you do have some alternate hands. So you have this fist with the yellow claws peeking through there. And then that same kind of textury sculpt. And then we have these kind of grippy hands, I guess. I don't know. They're, they're, they have a purpose. I'll show you in a second. But they look great. I kind of prefer these out of all the claws that we get. Uh, after that, we have this tiny little person who it looks like he's doing almost like the Heisman pose or something. Like he's got that like stop like with his arm out. And he fits in that hand. So this is kind of the purpose of, of that gripping hand. He's like, no, please don't eat me. Please, no, Godzilla, no. Yeah, size comparison. So here he is with the NECA Godzilla, the 89 Biollante Godzilla. And you see a massive difference in stature. Like, this one's only up to his shoulder. So the Super 7 one is definitely huge. So it just kind of comes down to, like, nitpicky stuff. Uh, of course, we're going to show him off with the J Toys Ryu. And he's about shoulder length. And then we've got Pimp Daddy Destro, also about shoulder. And Marvel Legends John Favreau. And bring these guys back. We're going to slide him over for the big beefy boy, the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Armadillo. And Godzilla is actually taller than him. This is a rarity. He's actually about almost a head taller. Last up, we have the box art, and oh my god, this looks amazing. Look at look at this art. The blood dripping from his face, all of the great textures, and the blood dripping down like onto the cement with the logo. We've got the water spraying everywhere. Put at the top, and it continues with its tail going off into either dust or waves. We've got the cement like breaking all around him on each side. This looks amazing. Like, I'm really impressed. The bottom just got that concrete color with all the, you know, warnings and stuff. The back, you got the bloody eye all staring back at you with more of that blood on the concrete down below. And then, let me see if I can get this slip cover off. Here we go. Almost there. Oh, this is a lot harder to do on camera than I thought. There we go. All right. So then you've got more of that kind of cement breaking off. You can see a little better there with the blood. Same thing at the top. We've got the blood red in the background. We've got the breaking off parts here with all the cracks dripping with blood on the sides. More of that on this side as well. Just really looks fantastic. Like, I'm thoroughly impressed. You have this hole blown out in the top, which I do like that they put the hole up there. So if you're an inbox collector, the light shines through so you can see the figure a little better. And the back of it, we have a little bit like a comic book panel breaking through the, the cement here with the blood dripping everywhere. A little bio, Godzilla there written on the side. So, oh man, this, this is awesome. So overall, I am impressed. 
I had heard and seen some pretty terrible things about the Godzilla Wave 1 figures so far. Uh, the pictures I saw were very shiny, very toy-like, which was is kind of weird to say, but like if, if you're a collector, you get it. Like action figures and toys usually have a different look to them. Like action figures look a little higher quality than like a toy does. And I, I definitely was trying to hedge my bets by getting this version because it looked like it would force them to put a lot more paint apps on it. So that could also skew this a little bit so keep that in mind but it's not as shiny in person as it is on camera however i do feel like it it is a little too shiny and like regardless i don't know if maybe it's because i'm used to seeing the sh monster arts or the NECA and how matte and like dull the the paints are on that or if it is an actual problem the figure overall the sculpt everything fantastic i do wish the uh, midsection torso articulation was different i don't like the fact that it's just a swivel that seems kind of pointless i feel like it should have been like a ball kind of like how NECA does but yeah overall i i'm not gonna lie i'm impressed i Hopefully we'll get to see Nate's going to bring his uh, normal version with him when we go to PowerCon so I can see that in person to decide if I want to kind of get in this line. Right now at the price point, kind of feel like I want to wait for him to go on sale or better yet clearance just because it, while it's massive, it's right there at the cusp of you know the sh monster arts which are significantly better but they're significantly smaller i i've only owned one and it was very tiny which kind of made me not want to do that line but size is in everything and in, and while this is massive i feel like the monster arts figures do have some benefits that this one doesn't but i do really really like the sculpt i really like the paint apps on this especially with the it being the comic version so you got that bright green and the blood on his mouth and everything like that i do feel accessory wise it's a little light i don't know what you could give except for maybe atomic breath i feel like that's kind of a big thing that they seem to be holding off and putting as like a bonus if you pre-order everything straight from them which i, th I think is kind of shitty to be honest but yeah beyond that i i, I don't regret it I, I enjoy the figure it's cool looking and i had I, didn't, I, I had some fun with the pictures. It's a little hard because I don't really have a setup for like a kaiju type situation. So I did it what I could. But uh, yeah, I, I still enjoyed playing around with it. But that's enough about me. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are. If this, if you were on the fence and this swayed you one way or the other, let me know. And of course, stick around the end of the video so you can see the photos I just mentioned as well. You can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Modern Toy Fair. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out here on the channel. Also gets you a bunch of toy-related content in your feed. And if if you're already a fan, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash modern toy affair. Got a bunch of different tiers with different rewards that you can check out. That's gonna be it for this week. Hopefully, see you next week. Same toy time, same toy affair channel. Thank you for watching.